imagine what happens to a country when it's ruled by a dictator for 60 years. And killed and I don't. I don't. This is Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. The last six decades, Myanmar has experienced brutal dictatorship. Dissidents disappeared, nonviolent protesters were killed, and the population lived in fear and poverty. In 2010, the regime suddenly changed course. The military government freed opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi, started democratic reforms and opened up to the world. Barack Obama became the first US president to visit the country. Many Western companies moved in and tourism started to flourish. I am Jeroen de Bakker, a Dutch documentary photographer. As Myanmar is opening up, I took this unique opportunity to dive into this mysterious, long isolated country and find out what 60 years of military regime has done to Myanmar and its people. Is the country really on its way to democracy? What's going on under the surface? And what does this all mean for Myanmar's people? Last year, I have met, befriended, followed and photographed people from all layers of Myanmar society. Different people in different situations, but all connected by their common past, a life and a dictatorship. I have followed a politician in his quest for democracy spent a month in an HIV shelter and saw how some people died and others recovered. I have interviewed the wealthy grandson of Myanmar's first dictator and joined poor oil farmers in a primitive search for oil. I have visited the most beautiful and most dangerous festival in the country, photographed a leprosy colony where people hide themselves from society and joined a famous parliament member who lives in the bizarre and empty capital city. I became friends with a happy rice farmer. Met graffiti artists and rappers in the concrete jungle of Yangon. And photographed the leader of a rebel group who said he will never disarm. I have discovered worlds I didn't know the existence of. In places where I expected sadness, I found happiness and resilience. To document and share these stories with people around the world, I have worked together with renowned international journalists. I have funded this project completely out of my own pocket, but to publish a book, I need your help. With only 200 pre-orders, we can go to print. So please, pre-order the book now or make a donation and help me to give the people of Myanmar the attention they deserve. Thank you very much. <laughs>